Now this is an intro. I'll see you guys in a minute. Up in lights, he just wants to be heard. Whether it's the beat of the mic, he feels so unlike everybody else alone. In spite of the fact that some people still think that they know, but no, he knows the code. It's not about the salary, it's all about reality and making some noise, making a story, making sure his click stays up. That means when he puts it down, tax picking it up. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain. That was some pretty good graphics, don't you agree? This game was made 7 years ago, NBA Live 2006. And this is what I want to talk to you guys about today. I want to talk to you guys about NBA Live, how it's going to succeed again, is it going to succeed again. Now if you guys don't know, NBA Live was the most successful basketball video game franchise for 15 years guys, starting from 1994. That's how successful the live franchise was. But until 2K9 came out, you know, it just started losing its touch. And why did it lose its touch? Because the gameplay wasn't up to par with the 2K. And as you guys can see, the graphic for a game made seven years ago is amazing. If you guys check out, you know, 2K6's graphics, not even close to this graphics. Now the gameplay is so messed up. You click X to dunk and B to shoot. And oh my God, I am so used to 2K12. And oh, um, you can't, I can't even imagine imagine to tell you how many times I was sh dunking from the three-point line I clicked the dunk button to dunk from the three-point line and I end up taking a stupid shot you guys will see later on in this gameplay now something NBA live did which I really found amazing was during a game or before a game when you're trying to enter a game you got to shoot with the player and I really like that and if you guys you know play NBA 2k12 once you click load settings and you click start game you're gonna have to wait a little bit but for this game once you click start game you get to shoot around with someone while it loads and that really made time go by faster and it just was a great feeling just to shoot around before the game actually started so I don't know if you guys know this or not but last year there was supposed to be a brand new game competing with 2k11 and that my friends was NBA Elite 11 and there are some gameplay clips online and you can also check out some demo clips and that was supposed to be the competitor for NBA 2K11 but unfortunately it did not do well at all you know no one it wasn't even able to sell that's how bad it did and 2K just has to I mean uh, EA Sports has to work big time to make it up and as you guys don't know NBA 2K12 is not gonna have no more rookies anymore just because of this uh, lockout which really sucks and you know a lot of people are pissed with 2K because they didn't make this game a lot better than 2K11 and that's why a lot of people are gonna start turning to EA Sports so this is EA Sports chance and opportunity to make something big alright we just want some basketball fun games and as you guys can see I click X that time and you know we just want to play something fun and that's where EA Sports has to realize that NBA 2K12 is an amazing game but it's not doing as well as 2K11 did and that's why EA Sports has to realize they gotta make something amazing they just have to make a brand new game it's not too late people are it's almost Christmas you know people want to spend their money they have to make a game amazing I mean, NBA Elite already has one big positive, the graphics, and if they can make the gameplay well, it'll just be the total package, and this dude just looks really weird, I don't even know who he is, he, he must be a great basketball player, but they really did not do work on his face, and the free throw in this game is a lot, it's just messed up and it's stupid, they gotta fix their free throw in this game too, but anyways, they got the graphic part down, if they can just work on the gameplay, this game can do really well. They, what they wanted to do for NBA Elite 2011 is just basically they try to make the gameplay so complex. They try to, once you shoot, you can move your hands, your feet, all that stuff. It's too complicated. Make it simple, make it nice, make it precise, to the point, and something that we can always play with our friends, with family, online. They just got to work on something, and they really got to work on the online. If they can fix all that in 2K, NBA Live servers are really known for having a nice, reliable server, something that 2K has had problems with. So if they can make a great game with great gameplay with amazing graphics and an amazing online ranking system, people are going to buy the game. So I heard in forums that they're going to be making an NBA, you know, 
Elite 2012 or 2013. I believe it's a 2013 coming out next year. And hopefully they can do work with this game. Because the, next year it's going to be the greatest basketball games of all time. The NBA has been gone for a year. And we all want to play with the rookies. Which will happen next year. So NBA 2K13 is going to be a big, big, big sale. And it already has all the 2K fans. But I still know there's a lot of EA Sports fans. So they're definitely going to work on making a game too. So let me know in the comments below. Are you 2K or are you EA Sports? Which is of course NBA Live. Have a good one guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. 2K or EA? Kobe.